Hello again. Welcome back to my channel of Global Solutions. Today, this is part five of the series, How Can President-Elect Trump Solve All the Difficult Problems of America? Again, this is part five. When he was campaigning for, to run for president, one of the promises he gave to the American people is that he will bring down the prices of groceries, food. How about, how, however, yesterday or today he said, it looks like it's going to be hard for him to bring down the prices of groceries. And that is the reason why I did this presentation. And my answer to that, or my response to that is, no, it is not. It is easy, actually. And that's what I'm going to explain today. During his first term, from January 20, 2017, to January 20, 2021, four years, he brought down corporate tax rate from 35 down to 21. Partly, this is good. This is good. Overall, this is bad for America because when you bring down the amount of revenue that's coming in to the government, you bring up, you raise uh, deficit. When you raise deficit, you raise the national debt of the country. And who's responsible for paying those debts? The American people. So that's why I'm saying it is bad for America or the American people. Maybe good for the uh, companies to enjoy the 21% uh, rate. On when he ran for, to campaign in 2016, I prepared this book. And I sent about 10 copies, I think, at his uh, uh, corporate office in New York. I think I sent about 10 copies or six maybe, I can't remember. Well, then he went to uh, assume the uh, responsibility of President of America and I sent another set of books uh, at the White House. Well, obviously, nothing happened. And these are the benefits. He will be able to reverse the seven trillion debt that Obama created for America without raising taxes. That's just one. Eliminate 70 to 80 percent of the 1.4 trillion education loan within five years. <coughs> Excuse me. All these benefits without raising taxes. Well, he didn't do any of those. So the national debt went up. And that's one reason why he lost to uh, President Biden. Now, in his second term, he's planning to lower corporate tax rate. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, this time from 21% down to 15%. He will be repeating what he did years ago. The same mistake. If he follows this, this is the modernization of U.S. government. Modern U.S. government. Modern because people must stop playing games with taxes. They should uh, uh, have the corresponding strategies to uh, lower taxes. 
Now, my modern government from 21 is bring it down to 10%, not 15 according to his plan. 10%. And then, after five years, 5% permanently after five years. See, 10 and 5, ultimate, lowest. Now, it will at the same time lowering uh, corporate taxes to 10 and 5, we will be able to bring this down. It is now December 13, 2024. And this is the debt of the United States. Stop this from growing and reset it into a downward trend without raising taxes. By doing this, we will be able to bring down the prices of groceries. And there are more taxes to be brought down. So, January 20, 2025, President-elect Trump will be sworn into office. And these are my recommendations. He may request for my training or presentation between December 15 to January 15, 2025. This is approximately 5 to 10 days depending on the number of attendees or participants. And the, the implementation starts January 20, 2025. 20, Immediately, he can choose any program he wants because I have so many programs. And of course, these are my guarantees my standard guarantees of all my programs, including, including my book. Now, in the presentation, if anyone from the attendees is able to defeat my analysis, my programs and solutions, they're not going to pay me one red penny, one red cent, nothing. And I will close my company. That's my commitment to this, uh, uh, to, the, to the future president of the United States, the number 47. Thank you again for watching. And tomorrow, I'll have more presentations to come. Goodbye for now.